Rachel's very active, uh, adventurous. There's nothing that she didn't want to at least try, um, such as ballet. <coughs> Tried it. <laughs> didn't really work too well. <laughs> Hence the horse. That was great. My horse's name is Sierra. We've had her about 10 years and she's 16 years old. I love spending time with her. We're always outside at the barn, doing a lot of things with her. We ride, we go on trail rides, um, very active that way. I think I first started noticing that I wasn't myself and that something was going on when I just, I didn't want to go out and do things as much as I had done before. I didn't want to ride my horse and I didn't want to go for hikes or hang out with friends. And I got to think like, why am I so tired? I didn't used to be this tired. I'm, I'm sleeping. Why am I tired? The doctor would begin to use the word stress. You know, it kind of covers everything. Stress related and depression. Well, I knew that Rachel was not depressed. So the hard part for me was watching her go through the ups and the downs, the discouragement, the possible what's wrong with me question. Things like they think I'm faking it. You know, um, which I knew she wasn't because she's not like that. Rachel doesn't seek out trouble. So I knew there was something underlying, but we couldn't find where that was. When Rachel came to us, she was frustrated because she was having a variety of symptoms that she couldn't explain. She had issues with her vision, issues with swallowing, fatigue, and sensory disturbance. The first thing that we do is listen. Most importantly, the patients tell us what they're feeling, and that helps us understand what might be causing it. Three years I've spent talking to doctors and feeling crazy, and like it was all in my head, and that I was fine, and that it was making it up. To have a doctor finally listen to me and tell me I'm not crazy, and that it was real, and that I have MS, and that they're there and we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure out what's next. At Penn Medicine, we take a multidisciplinary approach. We have not only a team of clinicians, nursing staff, administrative staff, but dedicated pharmacists. And also we can rely on departments like physical therapy, a radiology department, things that can come up and be part of this disease. And we work hand in hand to help a patient with all aspects of multiple sclerosis. Penn was just fantastic with giving me that strength to walk out of there having the answers and the medication and knowing that I had that support. I think I've been riding more now since I was diagnosed than I had before because part of me wants to prove it wrong and say, you know what, I'm not gonna let it define me. I have MS, but at the same time, I'm not struggling alone anymore. I'm not confused by myself anymore. I have the team that I need, I have my family, and I have pen.